Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Well, today it's going to be a little bit different. So when Microsoft Flight Simulator first came out, I did a tour around Sydney, saw a few landmarks and then ended up over in Bathurst. And with the release of helicopters into Flight Sim now, I figured I'd try and do something fairly similar, except we're not going to go all the way out to Bathurst today, but I'm going to take off from Sydney Airport, hopefully, and then do a little flight around the CBD, check out a few of the landmarks, and if all goes well, we'll touch down in the middle of the SCG, the Sydney Cricket Ground. Now there's obviously absolutely no guarantee that that's going to go well. Um, chances are I'm just going to absolutely crash and burn this thing into the ground, because basically no matter how hard you thought flying an airplane is, flying a helicopter is even more ridiculous. So essentially, with a plane, obviously you have the throttle, you have the mixture, you may have the propeller. Here we have the throttle, which as you can see at the moment it's 100% but it's not doing anything. We then have this collective, which as we pick that up, it'll actually lift the helicopter off the ground. We've got our stick, we've got our rudders. So it's a very strange experience trying to fly this thing as you're about to see. Basically, I feel like you got to be a little bit of an octopus. So now I think we should be okay to get going. Roll, pull the collective up slowly. There we go. And we are off the ground. Catch the rudder. And there we go. We are now heading away from the airport. A little bit sketchy. But we're in the air. So now we can just follow the river and we'll head over into the CBD. As I said, we'll go and try and check out the uh, Opera House, the Harbour Bridge. And then we'll go and hopefully land at the SCG after this. So if, la if taking off was hard, I can tell you landing is just about impossible. A beautiful day here in Sydney. Could be a, a traffic chopper. It's only going to cause a bit of traffic if we end up crashing, but that's okay. Definitely a massive hats off to the guys that can actually pilot this thing in real life. Yeah, certainly um, unparalleled as far as wanting to do a little bit of a sightsee, fly nice and slow, check out the sights. It's definitely going to be the way to do it. And there's the uh, SCG in that just off to our distance. I don't know if you can quite see it off to our right. That's where we're going to hopefully end up, but we'll see. So we're coming into Sydney CBD over Circular Quay just in front of us. We'll see if we can buzz past the West Point Sydney Tower. Darling Harbour and Cockle Bay Wharf down there to the right. Uh, left, I should say. Got the QVB down there, that green dome. And now we have Westfield. Try not to get too close because we don't want to crash, obviously. We'll come back around and have another look at Darling Harbour, Cockle Bay Wharf area. Directly in front of us now, that's the ICC, so it's kind of cool that they've um, modelled that already. And actually, they've also got the beginnings of the W Hotel, which is just where our red string is, you can see, uh, that building. Basically that used to be our IMAX, that got knocked down for a massive hotel and I don't think that's going all that well to be honest, but it's kind of cool that it's even modelled. So we'll bring it back around. There's a QV, oh sorry, there's the QVB, that green dome building, shopping precinct. And then as we come back around here, we're going to have a look at 
Barangaroo just off to our right. I'll tell you what, it is so hard to control the rudder and keep this thing going straight and true. And then we have the Crown Casino, which is even now modelled in game. It's got its little logo. Go there, lose your money. If you survive this flight, you're probably feeling pretty lucky, so you might as well go and check it out. And then we have the Harbour Bridge and Opera House. So when this game released, especially on Xbox anyway, the Harbour Bridge wasn't included, which I always thought was really irritating, but thankfully that's now been updated and it's now in-game. So we've got the Harbour Bridge, we've got Luna Park down there, and then we have the Opera House as well. Aussie flag and New South Wales flag on top of the bridge. And there's the Opera House. See if we can come back over. Have a look at the external view. So yeah, there's Luna Park down there. North Sydney Pool. And there's the Harbour Bridge. So, sorry, apologies for the uh, shoddy camera work. Let's see if we can just... Just see if we can control it and just see if we can hover. It'd be kind of nice if we can just take a little bit of a relaxing uh, bird's eye view of the landmarks. So yeah, North Sydney Pool, Luna Park, over to the Harbour Bridge, and then the Opera House. And now what the goal is going to be is fly over in this direction and see if we can land over at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Chances are this is going to go horribly wrong, but you've got to give it a go, right? Harbour Bridge looking pretty. But all right, let's get this bird moving. As much as the um, the weather is nice, I get a feeling there's a fairly decent wind going on. Because I'm pushing down on the stick as much as I can and she's not really wanting to go too far forward. Probably doing something wrong, wouldn't surprise me, but we'll get there eventually. Directly in front of us, we can see the SFS, the brand new Sydney Football Stadium, and just adjacent to that will be the cricket ground. And then a little bit further over, just around our one o'clock mark, that's where we started off at Sydney Airport. So going, coming over the eastern suburbs of Sydney now. Saying goodbye to the CBD. And now you can see in front of us the S SFS and SCG, Sydney Cricket Ground. Pretty well modelled as well, I have to say. It's pretty impressive the fact that they've got advertising hoardings in there. They've got uh, the big screens. So they've really gone to a lot of effort. So let's just see if we can level off and slow things down a touch. So there's the SFS, there's the cricket ground. Not too bad, I reckon. Let's try and slow our speed a bit. And this is where it's going to get really, really dicey. Got to try and drop speed, but not too quick. Got to try and maintain which direction we're actually flying in. So we come around the members' stand, the ladies' stand. And also, we don't want to 
drop down to the ground too quick either because otherwise we're just going to go straight through the ground so hold on to your hats ladies and gentlemen chances are this is going to get rough but I hope we can make it just bring it down slowly bring it down slowly 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 oh this is looking good we've done it we've actually done it I cannot believe that that is a pure fluke managing to land here at the SCG even though it looks like we're hovering above the ground we definitely are down and they've even updated the uh, big screen to show the T20 World Cup that's kind of cool here yeah, we've got the grandstands there Don Bradman stand MA Noble stand coming around we've got the ladies and the members and there's the Barongal stand in front of us. Well, I'm pretty chuffed with that. There's no way I can improve on that. Somehow actually managing to land that. So we might as well take off and see if we can head back to the airport. Because, you know, no point quitting while you're ahead, right? So let's get up and out of here. It's getting dodgy. That's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. So if we can now land back at the airport, that's just a cherry on the cake, really. And I feel like you basically wouldn't exactly be allowed to come and just land at the airport all willy-nilly, so this is obviously not something that you'd ever be doing in real life. I have no idea how to actually make this go any quicker. I'm sure there has to be a way of doing it, but I definitely don't know it. See, so it's kind of cool that helicopters are finally included in the game. I'm playing this on Xbox Series X, so I think there were a couple of helicopters that were made for the PC version. I'm not sure how accurate they were, but these are now official helicopters from uh, Asobo. So hopefully that means we'll get more and more helicopters coming into the game now. But it is amazing just how difficult they are to fly, especially compared to a plane, which is already challenging enough. But yeah, it's just a whole other ball game with these things. So, as we come closer to the airport, hopefully we'll be able to pretty much land where we started. I get a feeling the landing that we just did the SCG was a fluke, so I'm not holding my breath, but I'm going to be hopeful. See what happens. Coming over the suburb of Mascot, which is adjacent to the airport. And I think we're going to aim for this nice open area of concrete. I feel like that's going to be the safest option for us. So let's just back her off. Slow her right down. And let's see what we can achieve here. Cross your fingers, ladies and gentlemen. Coming in nice and slow, definitely uh, no risk of me becoming an ambulance helicopter or anything that needs to be done swiftly, that's for sure. Let's also try not to hit that fence. Good boy. Okay, let's slow it down. Slow our descent. Oh, okay, that was rough, but we've made it. A little bit generous on the game not to crash out on us, but I'm taking that. 
that makes me feel pretty happy, I have to say. So let's cut the engine. Let's call it quits there. We've made it. We're safe. And we managed to take off from the airport, get over to the SCG, land successfully, which I thought was a fluke to begin with, but then we've even made it back, so that's pretty impressive. Definitely going to quit while I'm ahead and I'm in the car park so I can just jump in my car and drive home. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.